Hello and welcome, my name is Parky, and today I am playing The Wolf Among Us. This is a new game, or fairly new game, which was made by Telltale Games, which are the same creators of the game that was The Walking Dead. And they've now created The Walk... The Walk... The Wolf Among Us! Dear God, what an amazing intro. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be playing a bit of this. I'm not going to hang around too long, so let's click to start this up. And we're going to see if you guys actually enjoy this series. I've, I saw this on Steam a couple of days ago, and I have to say I was very excited, because I very much enjoyed the Walking Dead series. And it's made in much the same way. It's going to be a series of um, episodes, I suppose you could say. And it's based on your choices, this game. Um, but it's done slightly differently, and they're claiming that it's a more advanced version of the last sort of engine and shit. So we're just going to get straight into it, because why not? So episode 1, Faith. So let's start episode 1 and see what goes on. Aside from that, I know not too much about this game, so it's going to be a bit of a shock to me as much as it is to you. So you're just going to have to bear with me if I'm slightly slow off the bat. I'm sure we'll get into it quickly and learn quickly. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Okay, so very much like The Walking Dead, which is what we were expecting. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The Fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Big B Wolf, well, very, very imaginative, protects them from each other. So there we go. Okay, so that's basically the premise, obviously. I'm hoping this is going to be interesting. Sounds very different. Right, okay, well I wasn't going to interrupt this intro, but obviously it's not as talky as I thought. So this is us, Police Deputy Big B Wolf, or whatever his face is. <laughs> oh dear God. I'm sure we'll learn his name as we go. The Wolf Among Us. Wonderful. Okay, we've seen the title enough. Can we play the game? Thank you. I have to say, it's nice to see the return of this sort of graphical style. I like it a lot. I was a big fan of the Walking Dead art style and graphics, and this is much the same as you can see. Slightly different, but much the same. Okay, so sometime after midnight, we're at the tenement building, and there's a frogman, of course. Mr. Toad. Oh, shit. Oh. Big B. Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Glamour. Um, no need to kick up a fast. Okay, so this will be one of the first options that we have here. So I'm looking at a three foot toad. <laughs> Enough, it's. Oh, Big B, say something. Oh, okay, so we've actually got a certain time limit to decide this in. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. Ah, okay, so silence is a valid option. You can't send me up to live with those animals. Well, I was going to anyway, but there we are. You know what I mean? Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't... Not my problem. Not my problem. You're the one risking your entire family getting shipped off. It's completely irresponsible, Toad. Big B, please. That's a low blow, mate. All this will be taken care of as soon as the witches are available to cast the spell. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Wow. Fucking hell. See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. And what exactly do you want me to do? I want you to throw the fucking woodsman out of here, drunk shit. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. Oh. 
I didn't think Mr. Toad would use such foul language. Okay, fine, I'll head up. That's basically what I said. <laughs> Wonderful. So, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to be playing this as a bit of um, a badass, in a way, I suppose. Like, taking no shit from anyone. Yeah, I will, Mr. Toad, you, you prick. Dear God. Oh, the game's a bit laggy. I don't what know what's going on. You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. Wow. I definitely did not foresee Mr. Toad being <laughs> so rude and crass, to be honest. I mean, uh, you could argue that some of these decisions I'm making are not correct, but to be honest, it's how I'm going to play. So why not play it the way I want? I think it'll make an interesting experience if I'm a bit of a, like, doesn't really care about anyone kind of person. So we've got some matches there. I don't know really what we're going to use this for. Uh, the things you could pick up can be useful later. Right, okay, well, there's a phone over here. Let's just go and look at this. Okay, or just put the phone back on the hook. What a good citizen I am. Is there anything else out here? No. Uh, should we just boot the door down? I, I'm feeling like booting this door down. There we go. God damn you! No way! Whoa, How whoa, dare whoa, you hey, hit her! Hey. You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> Wow. What a badass. I'm liking her. Kill you. All right, <laughs> okay, so obviously calming down isn't gonna work, so we're gonna have to beat this guy up. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the this way. This is your last warning. Get the axe again. Yeah. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. I was gonna say, this is different this time. W! Oh god. There we go. Let's bring him over to the sink. If we smash his head into the sink a little bit, that might be good. Oh no, he's got a straight razor. S. Oh dear god. A. D. S. Click him. There we go, perfect. How exciting. What am I doing? Uh, let's smash him into this cupboard here. There we go. Oh, he's got the lampshade. Dear god, not the lampshade, it's the worst of all shades. There you go. Ah, we've not missed a thing. I bet I missed the next thing now. Let's get him on the, the sofa because that's obviously going to hurt him. Ow. <laughs> okay, I can see him going out of that window. There we go. Punch him in the neck. <laughs> it's often the best way of doing things. So now onto the bed. We're going to just beat him to a pulp. That's nice. There we go. Seems to be working fairly well. Oh, there's his axe, right. So this is why he's called the Woodman. Suddenly things are getting a bit more dangerous. Oh, Q, 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 Q. Spam Q and then A. There we go, now we've got your axe. Okay, we'll hit him with the blunt end. I thought you'd just chop his head off. That's what I would have done, but there we are. Each to their own. Each their own. You should probably get out of here. Look, no I'm shit. not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey, <laughs> can't be nice. I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh fucking shit! <laughs> you broke my jaw, you bastard. Well, you shouldn't have been so angry. Fuck you. Fuck you. Shit. Um. What are you doing here? doing here? These lips are sealed. Oh well, I just helped you. You'd think you'd be polite enough Look, to this accept is the our start advice. Of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. You uh, need to leave. You need to go. I can't go until this deadbeat pays me. Oh, for God's oh, sake! What? I let you slap me around for a while. Oh wow! <laughs> <charging extra. laughs> Dirty woodman. Uh, okay, why was I? Don't think I need to ask that, do I? Are you right. hurt? I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. Why was he hitting you? 
Uh, okay, you're just going to ask anyway, are you? Okay, well, good job. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. Wow, he's so polite. I red riding hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I Throw him out. Stupid bitch. Throw him out. Hey, what did I say? I said be nice or you wait out. Come on. I knew he'd be out of the window. How did I know that? Dear God. Okay, so are we now attacking him, or is this pretty much the end? Okay. So, the woodsman has obviously run off. Oh no, he's dead, is he? Okay, he's dead. Oh, and there's Mr. Toad. <laughs> nice vest, Toad. Hey, Toad. My car. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Give me a second. Are frogs allowed to drive? Means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Get off the street. You're not supposed to be seen. Toad, you need to get off the street. You don't have your glamour. Apologies for smashing your car, Toad. I'm gutted <laughs> for you, mate. It's a real shame. I like Toad. That's not you, is it? Got to play the old man role. <sighs> Some things are more important than your car. Yeah, Toad. Stop being a little bitch. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh, God. How much does it take to kill a woodman? Here we go again. Let's just punch him in the face. Come on, let's get it over with. Q, 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 Q. Spam the Q! Oh, my God. Could I, could I do this much more? I'm going to get repetitive strain injury. Come on, go! I couldn't spam it much more. God, how much does it want me to spam it? Come on. Okay, we're looking like a bit wolfy now. There we go. Oh. Blimey. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. Good job with the axe. Dear God. New Book of Fables entry unlocked. Good to know. Alright, this is awkward. Oh, he's still alive. Of course. That makes complete sense. Um, thanks? Thanks. Well, I didn't really need your help. I was going wolf mode. I'm just getting what he owes me. You alright back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. I say, it doesn't look like a hundred dollars or whatever she wanted. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. So hang on, why is he still alive, surely? I'm just gonna He's let her. A bad day. That makes two of us. Yeah, he deserves it, I'm sorry. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Oh, I see, okay. So they're a bit more resilient than a normal human, so an axe in the brain won't kill them. Good to know. I feel that this is an important bit of information that we've gleaned from the situation. <coughs> Blimey, this is a bit aggressive. I'd take that axe from him if that was me. Alright, no, we're just going to give it back to him. Wonderful. Shit. Just come on. Smoking is bad for you. Um, let's... Give her the matchbook. Here. Thanks. Ah, oh, there we go. We've made friends. I knew that matchbook would come in useful. For picking up women. <laughs> no. Oh dear god. Who is she anyway? Really? Yeah, exactly. Exactly what I was thinking, Bixby, whatever your name is. These lips are sealed. Sorry. Is that a quote from something? Should I be getting this quote? Hey, you like my ribbon? Uh, yeah. Stop changing the sub. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh. 
Oh, so yeah, being nice was a good plan. I want to make friends with this lady. She seems nice. Even though she does smoke. Like we've met before. Really? Oh, is she Little Red Riding Hood? We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. Maybe. I guess. Who knows? We'll have to work this out as we go along. Oh, the guy's wandered off. Or he's disappeared, one or the other. Quite. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. This is about Fable to you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. Oh, maybe that wasn't the right That's thing to not say. What I mean. Ooh, something going on here. Lost cat, Pixel. <laughs> Dear God, we must find Pixel. A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Liar. I'm gonna give her some money Let's because why not? Got, uh, it's twenty, forty, seven, eight, fifty-eight. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's Aww. okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? Oh, there we you go. Got me out of a bad situation back there. Being nice, Thanks. it helps. I'm still gonna need a statement. <laughs> I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little it's late a bit for sexual. an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. Wow. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. Well, thanks. And I don't so use do you. lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I clean up okay. I'll uh, leave it when I see it. Lol. <laughs> Being a bit flirty. Naughty sheriff. Or whatever. Bigsby. Hey. Wolf. I need to tell you something. Is it? I don't like your floppy hair. Oh no, she likes it. Oh. Oh. I'll see you around. <laughs> Wolf. Wolf. Oh dear God. Okay. Well. Oh dear God. What is happening? It, we've been thrown into the middle of this universe where there's a lot of random rubbish going on, and it's all very confusing. But I'm liking it. It's very atmospheric. And I like the idea. So the concept I'm assuming is that glamour drug type thing, or spell, hides the fairy tale creatures from the outside world so they look like normal humans. I think that's what we've gleaned. And that they can take a lot of punishment. Welcome to Fable Town. Fableton? Fable Town. Telltale Games presents. Tell story. The Wolf Among Us. So here we go. So that was just the intro. Wow. This is a game that I'm very much looking forward to now. I'm feeling a bit more pumped for this. And I'm going to do the full series on it, so don't you worry. And probably if it's, you know, if it's popular enough when the other episodes come out, much like The Walking Dead, I shall play those. Faith. Well, this seems like a good place to end it. So, if you enjoyed the episode, then please feel free to leave your feedback in the comment section below. Also, leave likes, it really does help me know whether you want to see more. Let's see if we can get maybe 100 likes on the first episode, just as a little target. We can play it as a game. Doesn't matter if we don't. And subscribe if you haven't done so already, of course. So, goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward. <laughs>